So we're going to look at how to upload files as resources. So maybe you want to have files like Word documents, you want to have files like Excel, spreadsheets or PDF documents to be accessible uh, by your students. For example, in, your, in the case of uploading, let's say, something like a course outline or uh, some worksheets that you want or workbooks you want your students to work on, this is how you do it. So turn editing on again. And then I'm going to, um, let me say, let me go to the last topic here. I'm going to oh, topic number five, yes. So I'm going to call it uh, files. This I'm going to upload my files. So how do you go about it? Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to click add an activity or resource. So sometimes if it is hidden like it, like it is, just click on the right arrow and it will expand down once you will have this link, add an activity resource. So this is where now you're going to click on uh, files, where is file, file is here. So click on file, the process is easy. So let me, I think I have written a number of uh, documents I will have to upload uh, and a guide here to access ATC LMS. I have Zoom stock, I have Excel exercises. Yeah, that's enough. So the first one is um, guide to accessing KS pivot LMS. Okay, I can skip the description, it is optional. And then here is where you're going to do the upload. So you can do it in two ways. You can drag and drop a file here or come and click the file here. Okay. So let's begin with the add. So I'm going to click add, upload a file, choose a file. And I'm going to Moodle resources, accessing LMS, upload, upload this document. And I'm going to save and return to course. So already, you can see a guide to accessing KST with LMS. It's already there. So I can add another one. So let me add a document, resources, file. Um, the document was on what? I think it was on occupational standards. So occupation uh, standards uh, templates. So I want my learners to be able to access this template and work on it. So how do I go about it? I can just drag and drop here. It is actually here on my folder. There it is. Let me just minimize it a bit. Yes. So it is here. Our document. Something your students can edit. So I'm going to minimize this, then drag it somewhere here, and then click on it and drag and drop. Exactly. There it is. All I need to do is save and return to course. So you can see they're already here. So I'm being warned it's less than around four minutes so that this site will reset. So this is how you are able to do that. So let me add another one. Finally, the, the, the Excel, the spreadsheet uh, file. So let me use the long way. It is called the uh, stock. Let me call it stock records. Yep. And then I'm going to use the long method again. Upload a file choose file and then you'll have to look for the folder where your file is mine is here in Moodle resources and the spreadsheet is here for June okay open then you click upload and then just go down and say save and return to course so this is how your files will be looking like so let me turn off the editing mode okay so where are they they're down here there it is. So when your when your learner will be clicking on these documents, they will be automatically downloading on their computers. So if I click on it, there it is asking me because of a downloader. So if I didn't have a downloader, it will download directly into my desktop here. Similar to this, yeah, you can see my occupation standards are just downloaded immediately. Okay, uh, my Excel record here for June stock. There it is, and then your learners now can be able to go ahead and do the necessary edit. One more thing, as you're uploading a file, uh, you can decide instead of them downloading when the user 
clicks on it, they can be embedded so that they can open within the platform. How do you go about that? So once I'm in editing mode like this, I can come right here. Yes. And then on my file, uh, let me click on it, edit settings. Then once I've edit settings, come to appearance. Normally it is automatic. So just choose embed. That is all. Then save and return to course. That is it. So right now if I click on it, it will not download, but it will play, it will open within. So let me turn editing mode off. And then I go to the file, it is here. Let me open it. There you see it is opening within the platform. It's not downloading. So that is how you upload files to your uh, Moodle course to be accessed as resources.